I'm Randy Reed, editor of Design and Lighting Magazine, and we are here at the IALD Enlightened Americas in Banff in Calgary. What a beautiful area. I'm joined by Jill Cody, and Jill, you are the Secretary Treasurer of the IALD Trust Fund. Is that the, correct? The Education Trust, yes. The Education Trust. Yeah. I always forget that part. Now, tell our audience a little bit, first of all, about what the Education Trust Fund does. So the goal of the trust is con to connect um, prospective or emerging lighting designers who are not yet practicing with practicing professionals. And so the way that we do that is that um, we offer scholarships to students and then really a big part of our work is the, what we call the travel stipend program to bring students to places like this and educators um, like Enlighten Americas or Light Fair or we actually have um, a fair number of international students to attend Light and Building for example. And the goal there is to really get them in um, first of all, understand our industry and how great the work we do is and the people um, and to get them a little enthusiasm and understanding around that and also to connect them with our practicing professionals. Sure. But I find it interesting, you said students and uh, teachers, all Educators, right? Edu right. Educators, yes. Okay, I didn't know about the educators yes. as we, well. They're part of our community and they're really okay. an integral part of, A, helping students understand that lighting design is a career um, right. where they, you know, because a lot of them are coming from uh, affiliated programs like architecture or interior design and so we sure. as an industry we get a lot of those people coming in from all over the place my education was in interior design and I found my way to lighting so we're okay. really just trying to right. they're good guidance for those students to help find their way to lighting <laughs> about how many students are here in Banff that the trust fund has has helped bring here I think they're about 10 okay. um, and they are from across the US um, in different programs so we're excited to have that diversity also of students okay. from different schools okay and then I was in Berlin earlier this year at Enlighten Europe you send students to that as well. We do, we do, and I forgot to mention that earlier, but uh, that's part of kind of where we can help with our international or Europe-based um, student population okay. to get them that exposure in their own market. Okay. How many years has a trust fund been in existence? It's 25. It's the 25th anniversary of the trust, so okay. that's a wonderful thing to celebrate, you know, over the years, just the number of sure. um, the amount of impact that we've had. You know, there have been hundreds of uh, students who've gone through the program, and, and a great many of them are are practicing in lighting design or an affiliated okay. industry. How does it work? How do you choose the students? Um, there's an application process for them um, depending on um, like how much how much fund we have available. We right. may or may not, you know, we may be able to fund most that apply, um, but we're trying to get students who have a demonstrated interest in lighting, uh, because otherwise, why would they want to come? You know, sure. I mean, uh, so so you know, I think there's a committee that's uh, part of the trust that does actually do the selection of recipients. Okay, how many years have you been on the committee? Uh, this is my. Uh, third year, okay. and um, I'll be incoming next year as the president of the trust. Okay. okay, excellent. May I ask, what is the balance of the trust right now, Ballpark? I think it's around $100,000 that we okay. kind of keep free, and then we have okay. some that's um, put away into investment accounts as reserve, right? So we're trying to be responsible about managing our money and making sure it can grow to the extent that it can. And then we've had some very generous donors over the years who have um, funded endowments um, or endowment-like funds. And so those those balances um, are, are still growing, which is very sure. exciting. And we're working to um, start to implement those funds. Okay. I understand that there is a challenge between manufacturers and lighting designers. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, the challenge is for manufacturers, we, just, we want to apply just a tiny bit of peer pressure. So um, we have a donation level for manufacturers that we're asking for. We're calling it 25 for 25 for the trust. And so um, for manufacturers... $2,500 for 25 We, we are trying to raise here $25,000 okay. or more, ideally. So we're asking manufacturers to contribute at a level of $1,000. And then, okay. we, you know, we recognize, too, that our entire industry needs to be supporting this effort. And so there's a challenge for lighting design firms at a $500 level or more. Anybody's right. always free to give more. And sure. we've had some wonderful support from um, some longtime uh, donors and, you know, manufacturers that have always been really supportive of the trust. Well, tell us about the little bling here. Oh, well, you know, I didn't, I didn't uh, wear mine on camera. Okay. But um, so this was actually the, the brainchild of Claudio Ramos um, from Electrolyte out of uh, San Francisco. So he, he purchased these. And and we are, okay. and, and in order to get one of these and wear it, um, it was a hundred dollar donation to the trust. Now, 
I understand that they've sold out. So here's what I'm saying is I believe that there is a secondary market for these things now because if somebody wanted to buy mine for, let's say, a more substantial <laughs> donation to the trust, I would be super happy to do okay. that. And I know a number of people who would too. So it's not too late to get the bling. All right. Well, listen, <laughs> congratulations on the trust and the success you've had and most importantly for helping the students. Yes. Because that's what it's all about. Well, and thanks for helping us get the word out. You got it. All right. Thanks a lot, Randy. Thank you, Jill. Okay.